I just want to, uh, to, to say one how proud I am of our, of our team. Uh, not just that we won, but the way that we won. Um, obviously, when you come into a Big Ten team like Northwestern uh, and you're three touchdown underdogs, there's everyone doubts. And so it's first thing is to get your kids to believe that they can win. And they were convinced they could. And then you go in there and go down 21 to three at half. Now you want to tell your kids and continue to believe, please. And they did. And they continued to believe. Uh, we made enough mistakes in the first half not to win the game. But we came through and offensively, we, we I scored about every time in the second half we got the ball. Defensively, three touchdowns by our defense. Big play after big play. And uh, I'm so proud. I, I, uh, I appreciate the, the kind words uh, Pat Fitzgerald said to me after the game, just thanking our kids, congratulating our kids the way they play. He's won a lot of ball games here. He will continue to win a lot of ball games here. Uh, but tonight, for us, it's time for us to celebrate a, a great victory. Somebody told me it was 118 years since Akron has beaten the Big Ten school, but I don't know if that's even accurate. That was just thrown out to my you're, – you're looking at your guy back there shaking his head. Oh, 27. Oh, 27. Okay. Anyway, uh, but I'm awful proud. I'm proud of our players. Uh, we, we've got a lot of things. We had some new guys out there that really – I don't want to say they're just – they got caught up in the in the first half, got caught up in all the excitement of playing in a, a, a Big Ten game. And uh, – but it's the point they settled down in the second half and we made enough mistakes not to ever have a chance to come back. We gave up two touchdowns from our kicking game early uh, uh, as a result of mistakes, but we came back and did that. And so, you know, again, it, 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 this one was not just our defense. Our defense kept us in the game, but the offense came back the second half and just got after it. And it was, it was, it was everybody at every position doing their job. So, again, awful proud of all, our, all of our players. I don't even know, obviously, uh, uh, Two guys in this room did a great job. Two number ones tonight did a great job. And a couple of touchdowns from defense and threw a bunch of touchdown passes. And I'm all proud. Any questions? Score, to, score next. Score next. We made enough penalties. We got we, 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 a little nervous maybe, a little anxious because it's a different type of ball game than last week. We made enough pit turnover, enough mistakes to be out of the ball game. But if we don't make mistakes, and, uh, and we were just kind of a little bit frustrated, uh, and we score first. Let's just score first and go from there. Don't think about the final score. Think about who is going to score next. And so that's what we started to do. And with that, uh, the offense uh, came on, you know, just it was on fire. The defense continued to do their thing. You know, a defense really, they're going to, they had a couple of times. They could have shot two, two third and 15s and they got 16. And, and uh, so they had some, some personal fouls there too. So, um, but again, uh, just told, I just told them keep just go score next. They, you know they knew what the score was and they knew how, how poorly we played with our mistakes that we made in the kicking game and probably our offensive line. Not only the defense scored, but you guys also you know played the top. Right. You guys kept them. Well, we have nine seniors on day. We have our, the strength of the, our football team is nine seniors and sometimes ten. Uh, um, and so we have a very, very experienced defense. Veterans, they've played in a lot of ball games. Now we have played, you know, played Penn State last year, Wisconsin and Oklahoma. We played somebody. We just haven't knocked anybody off since we knocked not any Power Five team since Pittsburgh 2014. We haven't won one of those. We almost beat Michigan to 13. Um, that was, the, we, it, I think our defense was more likely not to get caught in the headlights. And they did. They, 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 they are, they've been, they fought a lot of battles and we've got some very, very good players. Uh, uh, on our defense. Well, when we came back and scored the second half, because you know the defense needed some help. They were full. They were they were playing good. Offense, we were we just had some. We had a couple mistakes and things that were going on. And some some mistakes and kicking game. And I think when we came back and drove and scored, I think we only got a field goal the first time. We made it twenty-one to six. But the fact that we got down there quick and that, that, that you just could feel it. But I don't think the belief ever left. I think you just had to go out there and play football. I wish I could tell you when I go into a game where we're the underdogs in the warm-ups by watching our guys, this is the one we're going to win or this is not because it's just you never you never know. Just one thing's got to click your way and things got to happen. And, and just, but, but these guys were ready to play. <laughs> we were, you know, we were just decided to do. Gasser came up to me and said, I think I can make it. He made 250 yarders this week in practice. And he didn't. He wasn't short. He just missed it to the left, and that would have probably put it away. It would have course, two, two touchdowns, and they were, you know, and and they were used all their timeouts, and that was one I wasn't sure. But I just, you know, you get the your urge. He was going to make it, and he didn't. 
Uh, but, you know, you've got to have confidence in your kids somewhere along the line. And then the last play of the game, we have what we call a, a time bomb where we try to roll out and throw it real high and the clock's going to run until the ball hits the ground. And we, and we practice it and practice it and practice it, and it gets us seven seconds every time. But we didn't realize we had run three rollouts before that. They were so ready for it, they pulled him up two or three seconds early. Really put a damper in that thing. Because all they had to do was throw, you know, throw it, throw it, get a pass that fierce end zone once and get a shorter throw again, and it could happen. But but that was a good lesson to learn is that you give them two two or three looks at that, and you're not you don't want to end the game with that. You might want to just go ahead and punt the ball and get it off or something like that. Two pick six and a fumble in the end zone for another touchdown. Yeah, I mean they were on the field a lot. Uh, we held it. We got them off. We got back on the field. We had the clock more than they did. We 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 were on the field thirty minutes. They were on the field twenty nine, about thirty and a half. So we ended up being on the field more. But early on, the defense had to hang on, and so I was proud of them. But and we and we did a little tired at the end, but we were just having so many reps and so many snaps. And when they got behind, we're we're, we're having to put rush on them every down. So our guys are just having to go hard to get in the rush every down. So. But I, I was awful proud. Again, this is one of those games where you're proud of everyone. You're proud of every single person on that field that got in because everyone contributed to that victory. Uh, I just thought it was real frustrating. You know, uh, I know the, the offense really thought we could move the ball, but we just kept having penalties like on first and second down that put us behind the sticks, put us behind the chains. So uh, coming back out in the second half, uh, we just tried to get everybody to calm down and uh, we tried to move the ball effectively, and that's what we did. Uh, yeah, like I said, uh, we we're moving the ball fine. We just kept having like little penalties that put us behind the chain. So, um, we came back out and we just kept putting jobs together and putting the ball in the end zone. Uh, I didn't, I didn't think it was hard in the first half. Uh, I thought we could move the ball, but just penalties. Um, they were, uh, they were saying that the, the corner was just playing really soft on early downs and stepping up really, like pressing pressing our receivers on third down. So we knew like on the early downs we go like take little hitches and little stop routes and then take our shots on third down. Right. Yeah, they did a great job today, you know, uh, besides uh, the first half penalties, but they did a great job keeping me protected, and uh, you know, I just kept thinking them, you know. Um, I didn't get sacked at all, like you said, and I think that's great. Okay, I'll talk about those uh, interceptions. What did you do in the outside? Uh, I was very excited. Um, I just kept talking to the front seven after that, saying we're going to make plays. We're going to make plays. We guys get penetration up front. That's what they did in the ball. Uh, I was blessed to just come up with the ball on bad passes and a tip pass, and I was just happy to do it. Yeah, I saw the same thing. I saw KB in the quarterback, and he was looking back at me. I was just hoping he'd turn around, and he did. And that's when I cut off his hip and went inside. On the first one, he was driving, and he caught the ball at about three yards. What did you think you could – uh, we always talk about hitting the nearest sideline when you catch an INT, and I was already headed that way, and I saw all my blockers in front of me, and I know they'll lead me to the promised land. Uh, I mean, I mean, everyone knows how the first half went. It was very frustrating. Uh, we went into the halftime, everyone was kind of rowdy, but we calmed everyone down. KB spoke to the team because he's a captain. Uh, we came back second half, we knew the game was going to be tight. We had to put up a lot of points in a short amount of time, and that's what we did. Uh, emotions got a little high late in the fourth quarter. Um, everyone started feeling themselves, but once again, KB calmed the team down, said we got to finish the game, and that's what we did. We came up victorious.